Howdy folks, Brett here. In this edition of our useful website series, I have six incredibly useful websites recommended by viewers in various categories for you to try out. Let's get started. First up is Taste Dive, which helps you to discover new movies, TV shows, music, books, podcasts, games, and other stuff. This site is simple to use. You could select one of the categories listed or just do a search for something that you like and it'll show you similar content. Here's a quick example. A popular show right now is Reacher. So I'll do a search for that, select it. On the page that opens at the top, it'll give you a brief description of that show. Below that, it'll show you a list of shows that it thinks is similar to Reacher. Back on their homepage, if you want to see what is popular right now, you can check out what is trending on Taste Dive to discover new stuff. When signing up for a new service, do you ever read the terms of service agreements before agreeing? If you're like most people, you don't. The website, Terms of Service Didn't Read, is useful for those people that don't like to read terms of service agreements to quickly find out the good and bad in those agreements. They use a classification system analyzing the terms of service and privacy policies of a company, assigning a rating from grade A, which is their highest rating, to grade E, which is the worst, raising very serious concerns. On their homepage, you could use their search bar to find a company quickly or scroll down through many of the more popular sites. If you click on the grade for any company, it'll give you additional details. For example, with Reddit, they've earned a rating of grade E. One of their major issues is that the service can read your private messages. I'll bet most users didn't know about that. The next time you agree to any terms of service agreement, you just may want to check out terms of service didn't read. Hackaday is an awesome site featuring articles each day about hardware, software hacks, mods, and has a wide variety of do-it-yourself projects. For example, an interesting project on their site is an e-paper weather display. Like most projects on Hackaday, they'll give you a description, details, and the components needed prior to starting the project. I'll mention this one quickly. Udemy is an online learning platform that many of you have recommended in the comments. It's aimed at professionals wanting to learn a new skill. They offer tons of courses for development, design, business, and a whole lot more where you can learn at your own pace. While they do offer thousands of courses for free, they also offer courses that are reasonably priced, including this highly rated bootcamp for AI prompt engineering, which at the time of this recording was only around $15. Another quick one many of you are familiar with is Fiverr. It's great for those of you that don't have the time to learn a new skill and would prefer somebody else do their project for them. The services are offered by freelancers as a way for them to earn extra income in a wide variety of categories. The services offered on Fiverr start at around $5 per service and go up from there. This is for the musicians out there. Chordify lets you turn any song into chords to help you play along with the music you love. In the search bar, you can search for any song that you can think of. Currently, you can search for more than 36 million songs. Let's go with Wang Dang Doodle, which is an oldie but goodie. You'll then see a list of songs. Select the version that you're looking for. I won't do this because of copyright restrictions, but when you click on play, the song will start playing, showing you the chords for that song on screen. Cordify does offer a free plan with limitations. To get unlimited access to all the songs and all the features, their premium plan starts at a little more than $2 per month if billed annually. Otherwise, if billed monthly, it's $8.79 per month. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of an interesting website that you think would be beneficial to our viewers, let me know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to not miss out on our newest useful websites videos and other tech related stuff.